What are the best ways to prevent or eliminate cabbage worms? And this is Dave from Powell, Ohio. So cabbage. the old cabbage worms. Right? Cabbage worms are so hard. <laughs> They're so they hard. Tough. And they like things more they than tough. cabbage. So, I mean, anything <laughs> right. in that um, cold crop. Yeah, the brassica. Yes, yeah, family. family yeah. They're just going to flock to, and there's not a whole lot we can do. So we'll start with the most obvious. Okay, if you're into that. using insecticides, you can use uh, BT products. Mm -hmm. Those target um, caterpillars specifically. Okay. And that's what this cabbage worm is. In its adult form, cabbage worms are like a small white butterfly. Yeah. There is a green cabbage worm and there's a yes. striped cabbage yes. worm. <laughs> yes. So they can look, you know, differently when yes, you're trying you to find them on the leaf. Most of the time they're on the underside. So when you spray that yes. product, um, you need to try to get good coverage. That can be difficult, um, especially on cabbages because we know how they grow, mm -hmm. right? Like all balled up like this. Yeah. So getting good coverage is important um, when using those sprays. And then if you have um, a dedicated area, say maybe a raised bed where you're growing these like um, these uh, cabbages or anything in that Brassicaceae family, you can, if you do it early enough, cover them with like a floating row so cover. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and you don't you know you don't have to get real fancy with it. Floating row covers can rest on the tops mm -hmm. of the plants, and they you know can move as the plant yep. grows. That's so good. you don't have to have hoops. You don't have to have like a lot of things to make That's this good. work. We need the floating row cover, and you need something to secure it along the lengths and the ends of wherever okay. this growing area is that you have them. So what we're trying to do, it's a technique called exclusion. You're trying to keep That's them good. out. So if you ever opened it up for a day to, I don't know, you just decided they needed to breathe or something, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that because water, light can get through flooding road covers. But if you opened it up and allowed an opportunity for them to move in and lay their eggs and you cover it back up again, now you've just trapped them in there right. and you are you it's know, making mistake. the problem worse. So if you want to use floating row clovers for exclusion, you have to be dedicated and keep it closed. Keep it closed. Um, but those are the, the two, you know. Yeah, those are the two that came to my mind. Yeah. I mean, you can try to smush them as you see them, but you'll wear yourself yeah. out. Yeah, you can try to hand pick them. They camouflage so well. Yes. You know, I always tell people to look for their fecal pellets. Mm -hmm. You know, that way you can track them down. Mm -hmm. But yeah. They're going to eat up your cabbage. You'll know it You'll if know they're it. there. Oh, you definitely know it. For sure. They'll have big old holes in there. You would know it. But yeah, the BT, the roll covers, uh, spinosad is something that you can mm, use. It's yes, pretty safe. Yeah. Uh, neem oil. Uh, you might have to use a spreader sticker, though, because, you know, some of the leaves are... They are kind, yeah, of, kind of slick. They are slick, and the yeah. water will just ball yeah. up and roll off. Yeah, so you might... Up. That's a good point. You yeah, might so need you to might add a spreader sticker. do that as well. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed. To subscribe, click below.